International Journal of Health Policy and Management. Quality and speed are our culture and the keys to our success. Welcome to the audio summary section of the International Journal of Health Policy and Management. Hello, my name is Professor Agnes Binaguaho, and I'm teaching in the University of Global Health Equity in Rwanda, and also at Harvard and in Dartmouth. It is my pleasure to join you today to discuss our commentary, which we publish in the International Journal of Health Policy and Management, named The Evolution of the Physician Role in a Setting of Increased Non-Physician Clinician in Sub-Saharan Africa, an Insistence of Contextually Sensitive and Purposeful Skill Development. Non-physician clinicians are a growing cadre of professionals who, despite having limited medical training, can provide certain elements of care. In our commentary, we come to the table for an important discussion on human resource volume, capacity, and physician and non-physician clinician assigned role within Sub-Saharan Africa and we respond to the very written article of ill and all. Though we agree on some ill and all points about physician evolution, we feel strongly that they were not cautioned enough with their proposed evolution in the context of Africa. In Sub-Saharan Africa, we don't have to forget that we hold only 24% 4% of the global health workforce, while when we have 24% of the disease burden globally. Thus, we need to educate more physicians because still today too many people die due to a lack of access to qualified professionals able to provide quality secondary and tertiary care clinical services. For developed countries, we find ill and all arguments valid, but in our piece, we advocate that this evolution must be taken with caution in developing countries. Because the shortage of healthcare providers with, with and without formal education remains substantial. We share with them the call for first physician evolutionary step, the specialization. In the context of physician shortage and the task shifting to non-physician clinicians, a number of physicians should free time for specialization in needed medical field. As specialists, they will serve more and with more quality the, all the population that are in need in all the countries. Where we call for caution is when ill and all propose a number of non-clinical clinical domain in which the physician should step in, such as financial position, managerial position, monitoring and evaluation work, and so on. Though we agree that non-clinical skills may improve the physician work and the ability to see clinical care beyond its medical context, here we disagree that in developing world, the shift from clinical to non-clinical because there are already too few. Finally, we advocate to put measures in place to fight physician brain drain internally within developing countries and by better policies, better contracts, better incentives, but also internationally when physicians leave developing countries to work in developed nations. And for this, we propose to, to put in place penalty system to compensate the countries of origin. This would allow developing countries to educate new human resources to replace those who migrate in the developed world. And what I can say, I just hope that one day in Africa, we will have enough a physician for them to have to develop their skills in non-clinical field with a population that will be served well in all the clinical field 
and also non-clinical field related to the health sector. I hope that you have enjoyed my introduction to our paper and that uh, you will understand that our aim is to discuss ways in which we can bring the most equitable, sustainable, high quality care to all people in Rwanda and across developing countries. Thank you very much. Thank you.